Today I'd like to introduce you to one of the fiercest, most ferocious, one of the most scariest creatures ever conceived by the human mind. So here's a personification of that figment of one's imagination. Alright, here we go. This Stop. What? Hey, Garbanzo Bean, how are you? I'm not a Garbanzo Bean. Well, I don't know your name. Does he look at that court? No, that's already been taken. But I'm Kevin T. Bokoff, ventriloquist and puppet doc. Of a fierce, mediocre nature, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're kind of an ornery thing, aren't you? Well, try growing up as a jackalope and see how you come out. You didn't grow up as a jackalope. Well, you didn't. I made you a jackalope. Like, maybe 24 hours ago. Are you sure? Yes, yes. I took a very rotund, common, everyday cottontail and made you into a jackalope. Do you know where the legend of the jackalope came from? No, well, years and years and years and years and years and years and years ago, someone found a cottontail with little boats on its forehead. For real? Yeah, its body is in the Museum of Muddled History. Sounds like the right place. And, gossip being what it is, the story grew to such a massive proportion that folks claimed to have seen jackalopes and drew pictures. Really? And then, taxidermists began making fake ones out of jackrabbits by putting pronghorn antelope horns on them. Uh -huh. Some even stick deer antlers on them. And that's fakery of a fake animal. <coughs> By the way, what's your name? <coughs> Excuse me. What's your name? That really burns me up, you know. Oh, lighten up. What's your name? Chubby. Chortles. Chubby Chortles. Huh? Does he? Does who he what? Does Chubby Chortle? You need to get a light. I got one. Alright, get over there. Alright. Got a carrot? No.